Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. <clears throat> Wanted to propose a concept for perimeter security, home security, campsite security, uh, wherever you might find yourself security, I suppose. It's something you could add to a bug out bag or uh, a small, uh, you know, pack or if you had to be on the move or something like that. So this wouldn't only be for home use. And I'm by no means a military expert you know i'm by no means a home security expert but you know i still try to think of different concepts and uh, put them into practice and so hopefully i can get some feedback with you guys as to how to uh, improve this concept a bit so this isn't a kids drawing lesson i'm not much of an artist but i thought i'd try to illustrate this concept to you as simple as simply as i could so you have your standard trip line, which, you know, consists of uh, usually some sort of camouflaged line cordage, like uh, camouflage fishing line. I use that for uh, bowstrings, but uh, probably the more common fishing line. I'm sure you could use, uh, what's that stuff called? Floss, dental floss or something like that. Something that's going to be strong enough that's going to be able to, you know, hold a bit of weight and withstand the effects of weathering and whatnot. So you want, you know, uh, the whole purpose of this is to alert you of threats in your immediate vicinity before they can get close enough to have an advantage over you if you were sleeping or if you were busy or occupied and away from your means of securing yourself. So what I have here is just a picture of a house, a camp. It could just be you, you know, who knows? And there's two trees, so there's two natural sort of uh, things that you could adhere the trip line to. You could just use sticks in the ground. You know, you could use a lot of things, but it want, you want it to be sturdy enough so that, you know, it's going to kind of stay in there and not blow away or accidentally go off or something like that. And what we're going to use for this, uh, what I propose is one of these little mini door alarm things. Now you can get these from, I think I got these from Home Depot. So, uh, you know how it works is, it's pretty basic. And they're only like five bucks, ten bucks for the two of them, which is pretty good. So, uh, it, uh, as you heard that beep there, so it's activated. I just turned it on up there. And so when I pull this away, that comes on like that. And it's very loud. I'm not sure if you can hear how loud it is through the video, but it's loud enough that you could easily hear it from a block or two away at night. Probably hear it, you know, within... 100 yards during the daytime with your normal background noise so it's very useful and what you could do what i propose is that you could put some of your uh, cordage your thread or whatever to one side of it put another you know fix this somewhere what i propose you do is that you fix it somewhere high in a place that uh, a person couldn't just come and turn it off so you could put one of these these are normally for uh, be the package here they're normally for on to be used on a door and even for that you know I find that a person could just you know if they knew a lot about these things or if they had any common sense I guess they could just turn it off and so the alert time might not be that long lasting you might not hear it if you're really moving something and it goes off right away and somebody smashes it or something like that to silence it you know so you want it to go off for a significant amount of time so that you can actually hear it so what i propose you do is that you put it up somewhere like in a tree and you know you can have everything sort of set up uh you could basically leave it set up unless you had to do some work in the yard and you want it taken down so you have it your line going up the tree and i have these eye hooks here so you could use eye hooks to basically uh, thread the line all the way up to this alarm piece up here 
and of course this is going to be firmly mounted to the tree somehow how you do that is up to you there's a million and one ways to do that and then of course this thing is going to be mounted to the string and you could mount this and this you could string this along the ground you know maybe prop it up with a few sticks or something like that and you could take it around the house like that using trees and things that are in the environment uh, if you only had you know you might have fences around here you could have something else but uh, chances are if you use a camouflage line nobody's going to see it and that way right when some marauder x crosses this line you know he's going to pull that this is going to come off this alarm is going to go off he's going to think to himself where's the sound coming from he's going to look it's up there as long as he doesn't have access to anything where he can shut it off immediately it's going to signal you and you can come running out of the house with whatever you know tools are at your disposal to scare this person away um you don't necessarily need an alarm system but i think this is this is a pretty good idea because you know it's going to be a lot louder you know it is technology so it has a limited lifespan you may have to make some sort of canopy for this so because i don't think it's water resistant but you could pretty easily make it water resistant I'm not too sure about the condensation and stuff like that it comes with the battery packs you could probably put some sort of um, plastic you know saran wrap or something over that just close her up that might add a little bit of extra protection as much as you need anyways and uh, yeah there you go and you could camouflage it with leaves or duct tape or something like that so I don't know let me know what you think about this idea I think it's I think it's a good concept and like I say this is small enough that you could put this in a bug out bag or something like that and uh, yeah so let me know what you think thanks for watching Canadian Prepper out